Since Garchomp EX got released, it unfortunately failed to meet expectations because people thought it was going to be quite good. But there was nothing to really partner with it until now. And that is the Dig 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 Drillbar, which reads, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during a turn, you may search deck for the three basic fighting cards, discard them, and shuffle your deck. Meaning you can, as soon as you bench this Drillbar down, use Garchomp's attack to accelerate. And what's even more useful is it evolves into Extra Drill, which just hit a straight 180. Granted, it does 50 damage to itself, but you're effectively charging it up by just playing the Drillbar. Now, this deck doesn't only have that. We also have Coridon EX, because it just hits a straight 280 with two fighting and one fire. And that's all thanks to this drilly critter right here. So uh, let's get some games with it and see how we do. And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PDCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code FDW for 5% off. TCG Bulk, where you can buy and sell your bulk cards and whatnot. But you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below. But for now, let's get going. Oh, we have have a shark debt in the active. Okay. The hand is not that great, really. But we'll go for a buddy puffin. We'll get a Bidoof down and we'll also get a Gibble. And for filling's sake, let's drop the drill bar and let's just get the energy in a discard pile. This reminds me of the Shuckle back in the day, if you remember that one. I think it had pretty much the same ability, if anything. So do I just bench this and start attaching a fire? I mean, if I am dead drawing and I just need to attach, 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 then Coridon could definitely be that. So I'm just going to end my turn. Let's see, though. There's an S ball. I'm assuming this is an Arceus, which actually works kind of in our favor with the whole fighting type. So <laughs> I would love to be able to set up here. Yep, it's an Arceus. To be fair, all I really need is an Arida. If I just get an Arida, we're just cooking instantly. Oh, we get Iono there. So we should be going quite well into this matchup. We hit for weakness with the, with the Excadrill. You really, you give me nothing as well. And uh, we also just hit trait 280 with Coridon. So it's actually not that bad. They're going to want to take out my Coridon as soon as possible, though, because I'm, I'm just going to hit 280 with it. Like, as simple as that. Oh, we do get the top deck, though. That's clutch. Okay. I think I want to bench this Gibble here. Here. I also want to get rid of, uh, oh god, do I get rid of the fighting? I think I get rid of the Coridon, because I'm just going to attach to it this turn. I mean, if I get, well, to be fair, if I do get my Garchomp, then it's 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 good. So maybe I won't attach just yet, but I wanted to have the two just in case I don't get anything here. Uh, oh, it's a radar! Okay, we're cooking. We're just cooking, bro. All right, Garchomp, rare candy, and we, we start popping. Radio, up we pop there into the, uh, the Gibble, evolve into Garchomp, attach, accelerate, and we'll put two on the Coridon and one on the Drillbar. This is nice. Okay, already looking strong. I'm loving it, baby. I'm absolutely loving it. And then what I could do from here is just simply manually attach to that drill bar. So that way, when it's time for it to come up and attack, we can do that. Also, I've got to turn my sound on because I'm a goofy goober. Right, they attach to Arceus. They get a Bidoof down and they judge. Thank God we got the big barrel. Otherwise, that'll be a problem. <laughs> but not in my set. They go for an Ultra Ball, though. And to be fair, we got charged into a pretty decent hand, too. Literally, bosses orders. We have the extra drill. So this Corridon is going to be a bit of a, a literally just a straight trade-off, right? It's I attack with it. It does 60 damage to itself, so the uh, Arceus afterwards will be able to KO me. Oh, so maybe I should have instead accelerated to the Drill Bar? But then again, I just didn't know if I had... Oh, no, I had Ultra Ball, right? Oh, I should have accelerated to Drill Bar. I got excited about the Coridon. It's all right, though. It happens. Uh, I'm glad I got the Manaphy start as well, because I'm only surprised if we saw a simple... What's it called again? What's the poke? Delphox pop up out of nowhere. Unless do I get rid of the Charka deck? I could just boss up the Charka deck, no? Then again, I mean, what's the, what's, what's the fire count? Uh, I might... Do I just take a 1-KO? Or do I try and be techie with it? I don't know what's the right call here. I think I'm going to rod back that. Do I just take the KO? I don't know if that goes in my favor or not. Because if I boss take KO, that's one prize. They take out my... Oh, no, it'd be two prizes, actually. I don't need to boss. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I, I think I've got an idea. I'm going to get a Garchomp now. Just so I, if I get in a reader, then I can start using another Garchomp. I could also just Sonic Dive, weirdly enough. But yeah, there it is. Another Garchomp. And I'll Arvin now. Get myself a Vessel. Oh, a Max Bell. Oh, what can that do for me? Turns... Well, no, I can't do anything. There's no EXs in play. <laughs> Here's me thinking it'll do that to Vs. So I am going to go behind on prices with Defiance Band coming in any sort of... Uh, uh, I, I guess. I'll then get rid of Iono here. I still want to attach for turn and just get two fighting. Yes. So then I'll just come up with Coridon, take a one at KO. And to be fair, they need to have the Arceus, right? What if they don't have anything? They've only got a two-card hand. But I'm sorry, just coming up and taking an Oko like that, it just it just feels wrong. And weirdly enough, my opponent has Magma Basin in play. <laughs> so if this Coridon goes down, Rainy and Charizard's just ready for it. <laughs> they played a Mila. That's kind of cool. So we're not out of the dirt just yet. 
yet. So there's a the buddy buddy puffin. Fetch another char cadet there. They go for an ultra ball, get rid of an Arceus and a magma basin. And they get the barrel. There you go. Interested still in not getting Arceus right now. I'm assuming they just obviously opt in for consistency. They can obviously just pass a turn, but it's risky. Max belt. That's definitely gonna do some damage. Oh yeah, they, they want to get a one KO with this bad boy, don't they? Okay, can't even a can't magma basin just yet though. So they're not getting away with it. And if they can't take a KO this turn, if we get a boss, bro, the Coridon just sweeps. Wait, what are you doing? Oh no, no, they, they've got it, right? There's no way. No way in hell. Unless they have a retreat magma basin. That would make more sense, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I see what they're going to retreat the Arceus and then Magma Basin, but that means you have literally no energy once that um, Heatran goes down. So it's a bit of an all-in play already. They do an S-Ball and fail it, though. Oh, they just switch. Yeah, okay, so that, that preserves the energy on this, which means I should just probably give the extra drill because then that's just a single prizer. Um, but then again, like, if I just take this out now with a guard chomp, actually, no, I could charge up extra drill, right? I can even charge up Char Charizard if I need to. So, no, maybe I'll go with the guard chomp here because they can't OCO this guard chomp. They can OCO this one, though, so that's a threat. But with two basic massive hitting Pokemon, we just win on the prize trade, don't we? So, that's fine. Let's go for a Magma Basin. <laughs> that's so cool. Onto the Radiant Charizard. I think I go for a Defiance Band on the Charizard, so we can definitely take out Arcus if we need to. And are behind on prizes, which could be happening. Um, do I a reader? I don't think a reader's gonna get me anything good. I mean, it will fill out my hand a little bit, to be fair. And Iona's not doing anything, so yeah, sure thing. Getting rid of that back spell doesn't matter now. The counter catcher might actually. Maybe I just counter get a counter catcher because they're they're obviously aiming to boss KO my guard chop. And then from there, no, we'll be even on prizes. So counter catcher pretty much won't matter for the rest of the game. So in that case, I get vessel, right? And then the guard chomp, and then I just like, get rid of the just get rid of the guard chomp with the vessel like this and then just get some more energy yeah all right no maybe i should have done that <laughs> yeah but better, but better for one all right, it's fine all right let's go for a hydro lander and there's two energy in this car part to accelerate so do one here and then one here so even if they don't take a KO, Radzard is still online. All right, cool. So, well, to be fair, it is probably better for them to take out the extra drill if they are going to attack with the Arceus V, but I'm assuming they just want to attack with something else here. There's a bit of a Bidoof going down. Oh, they boss. Are oh, they going to take out? Yeah, the extra drill is the biggest threat. Understandable. They get an energy on the Arceus there and in sizes. It's a bit of an all-in play again, but Arceus tends to find a way, man. There's an Ultra Ball, but do they have the retreat? Well, they should, right? They got rid of all that energy. Yep, yeah, there you go. So then what do I do? I, I own them or I could always go go for a sonic dive on the barrel you know they're gonna have like no cards in their hands so i could sonic dive the barrel and i just hope they ain't got boss oh no no even if they do get boss we're fine i still think we're in a really good spot but if they have the barrel in hand or an out to the barrel what's their ultra ball count so they paid three ultra ball their out to the barrel could be thin here yeah it could be very thin and then from there i just i could literally just sonic dive again the turn afterwards for game so i could see the game through with just garchomp really yeah do i do that is that is that my game plan unless i just bench Coridon and accelerate to it right and then that's just my best bet and if they take a two prizes then i could just go for a counter catcher yeah, maybe I just attack the Arceus and accelerate to Coridon. There's just no way they can take that Coridon out unless they have a Defiance ban. I also get a reader and get a drill bar. Just accelerate to the drill bar. That's, that's, that feels a bit safer. Yeah, okay. That feels a little bit on the safer side. So I think we're going to go for that move. So we'll Ultra Ball away the Gibble. And I think I have one more fire left. I do. So I can actually get... Well, to be fair, I've got Magma Basin if I need it, right? And to be fair, I could just Magma Basin to the Zard as well. So I could just attack the Zard this turn. So if I get... No, I think, yeah, I think I go for Drill Bar and just accelerate to it because the threat is just there now. Yeah, let's dig dig. I don't think it does anything for us, but there you go. Um, Yeah, because then if they boss KO the drill, but after that, then obviously I just hit it for 160. So I think that's our best position to be in. Also, I could Sonic dive it next turn as well. So I think I attach to this Garchomp too. Yeah, we attach to this Garchomp. I'll go for an incisors here. And I guess there's no harm in Magma Basin, to be fair to you. Sure thing. Let's do another Magma Basin there. And then I go for a Hydro Land of 160. And now we've basically established a, a, a double threat, right? Where we have the Eskadrill threat if they keep the Arcus in the active, and if they retreat, then we have the Sonic Dive threat. So they need to get a Manaphy down and also take out my Drill Bird. That's a lot of work. But they do get another big barrel, so I'm glad I didn't Sonic Dive the barrel, which was my original plan. But no, we're looking good. They do Iono, though. I did just use, I think, my last Ultra Ball. So yeah, that's going to be rough, actually, if they go for... Uh, well, no, if they boss KO Drill Bar... Mm, no, we still have the Sonic Dive. And we also have Radzard as well. No, we have way too many. We just win this. I'm sure of it. Gouging Fire? Oh, wow. To be fair, it's kind of a no-brainer in an Armourish deck, isn't it? There's a Turbo on the barrel. I mean, what are they looking for here? Is it the boss? Well, they played Iono, so they can't boss now. They can counter catch. So maybe they're looking for that. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe they're looking for a switch because they can't really attack here with the Arceus because they just lose if they do. Uh, but there you go. That's GG. <laughs> Sorry, mate, but uh, uh, the weakness definitely doesn't help. They had to get rid of that drill, but otherwise they just lose. So uh, I understand it, mate. But you know what? 
we take dubs when they come. And that is indeed one of them arriving. GG's, my friend. Brother, what is this? I, I, I'm in Arceus League, right? I'm coming up against Bramblin. I love it. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Really, really, really cool. And we literally have Garchomp next turn. <laughs> I'm loving this because what's weird is when I play like with, it, it almost feels like they're reading my deck a little bit because when I play with meta decks like Lugia and stuff like that, the amount of stool decks I come up against is just disgusting. And um, now, I'm, I, when playing this Garchomp, I was worried coming up, against, coming up against stool. But then again, I, I don't think we have a terrible run into stool. Now that I think about it, most of our stuff can attack and we can accelerate energy. So it's not actually that bad going into stool. I just don't like playing against it for those who sort of, really? Bro, okay, in what world do you see me attach pass and you think, you know what, I should Iono them? Like, I was I was hoping you wouldn't Iono me, so you made the right choice, but that was the wrong reason for it. <laughs> but they probably just had a dead hand, but weirdly enough, they've just thrown me out of a really good hand, and that sucks because usually attach pass would indicate that my hand is bad, and therefore you shouldn't Iono it. But uh, yeah, here we are. Artisan, let's go. Anything you can do to help, please? Uh, I guess I just get another Gibble down, right? It does not feel good to be me right now. We just got brutalized there, man. Jeepers, creepers. Let's just get an energy. Actually, I should have got a fire? I don't even know. Right, well, at least we're going to get two prizes here from the Fortress. That can hopefully give us something. So for those who don't know, the Bramble, the Bramble Gas, I think it is, it has 50 HP for each prize card I have. So it gets stronger and stronger as time goes. Now, the only downside, it's a attack is a bit weak. It's 80 damage for each energy attached to it, and there's no real, there's no cherub anymore, so there's no real way to get a bunch of energy onto it, except for with Foratress, right? Um, but even then, it can just be a little bit awkward at times. But either way, we're playing, they're playing the Dance Pass engine, so let's see how this pans out. Bro, imagine they pop off, and then they just flip like loads of tails. <laughs> no, my luck, it won't happen. Need I remind you of my Wog Trio deck, where I think I got two-thirds tails to heads ratio. I think, yeah, for every two tails was one head. It's just the most unlucky scenario ever. And that's just me on PDCGL. Speak of the devil, there's a tails facing me yet again. But I'm sure they would have wanted a heads there. But then again, no, it's turn one, so... Oh, no, no, it's turn two, actually. Yeah, they wanted a heads, didn't they? Right, we do get a Foratress and another Dance Buster down. And a Reversal as well. Yeah, this is where things get wild. But they are... Don't... You, you shouldn't commit all of the energy to the Bramblin. Really? You just want to be able to attack with it. It's not so much about loading energy on it. It's more about just fulfilling its attack cost and going from there. Because the issue is if you load it all onto one Bramble Gust, I've played this deck so you can probably tell. If you load it onto one Bramble Gust, then yeah, you're doing tons of damage, but your uh, HP effect hasn't officially taken effect. Like, yeah, you have 200 damage after this. And a Hero's Cape would do two, uh, sorry, 200 damage, 200 HP, and a Hero's Cape would do 250. That's still relatively KOable in the standard format. And if you lose the energy, then it's just rough. Nonetheless, let's see what they decide to do. They should at least put free energy on the bench to Bramble if they know what they're doing, which I can't judge. I don't know what I'm doing day by day. And they just put the one, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, no, okay. They just, they do two. Now we gotta do is wait for them to hit so many tails or for me to absolutely pop off here. And it's nothing. I can't believe they ironed me out of it, man. It's horrible. I'm gonna get my Bidoof. Oh, you fraud. Yeah, fraud. There we go. You hate to see it, man, but we're getting absolutely bodied. They do get heads as well, so they can get another Bramble Ghast out. Oh, man. All right, Bramble Ghast out. Do they get the Hero's Cape, though? No, but they do get a Puffin. Hey, listen, if you wanna go for another Fortress, just uh, just do your thing, bro. So they've got seven coin flipped here. Only needing to hit one. So that is, what, a one? Well, it's one in seven. The doy. If they get loads of tails, though, one. Okay, why is it bugging? Why is it? Okay, uh, uh, okay, calm down. I think they did enough damage, if you ask me. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> right, I can ask them for a, another Bidoof. That's fine. And as you can tell in recent videos, going behind like this doesn't mean anything. So long as we get something. Why do I need a fire energy? Bro, have you seen my hand? Let's thin even further with a drill, but how about that, huh? Catch me outside. <laughs> One energy. <laughs> Bro, it's disgusting. It is disgusting. So, I think we throw an energy here. We go for another bite. Hey, it could, it could mathematically work out. You know, that's 160. Garchomp KOs it. They, the dance pass get. I wouldn't be surprised. They just go for another counter catcher here and run away draw. There you go. Artisan coming in. Getting another dance pass down, of course. Now, we are at great risk of being Ionoed here, which is what I'm worried about because I have a red candy in hand. So, if I just get an Ultra Ball, we're cooking. So, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. There's a counter catch. Uh, yeah, Iono plus this would be very devastating. There's another Buddy Poffin though. They fail it though. Buddy Poffin again. And they fail it again. And my game is lagging again. And Powerful Needles, please get the tails. I mean, seven tails. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Four heads this time around. Doing 320. <laughs> this is just terrible. This is just bad. Can I please get a top deck to just let me play Pokemon? I, I can't have an Iono. You're joking me. You're joking me. 
I, I got iono out of game, literally. This is the power of Iono. I, I, I literally cannot play Pokemon cards because of a supporter card my opponent played. I can't even be angry. It's relatively impressive. Let's just, just, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna bite again. Bloody hell, man, Jesus Christ. An arena, a guard chomp, an ultra ball. I, I play tons of these cards, I'm, but I'm top deck in bloody energies and barrels and I don't need them. It's just, uh, that's not an energy, it's a maximum belt, I don't know what I'm doing. This is just ridiculous. All right, they're gonna go ahead of prices here leads this line but in this meantime they're able to charge up this donny so it is just ah oh, this is just i can't, i feel sick watching this jesus this is the yeah yeah okay they get three heads well done i can't believe my decks let me down like this man so much I, <laughs> just an ultra ball it's an iono it's not gonna be good it's gonna be trash oh, oh save me somehow please jesus <laughs> I can't do this, lads. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I, I. I just. Oh, Jesus. All right. I get buddy profit for for the for the for the fee. You get me my nanny McPhee. Okay. I bite for twenty again. Right. I can Charizard next turn. But what good is that? You know. I've never in the entire time since Iono has been released seen an early game Iono. By the way, with six cards drawn, absolutely kill me. Never this bad. At least by a few turns, I find a way. This is a abysmal draw. And I'm sitting there hoping they get bad. Ah, oh, gee. Bad luck just runs in my veins. Oh, no, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna rock sand me as well. Rock sand me to two. Remove my Arvin. Remove my Charizard play. Just, can you read my mind? Because no one in their right mind plays an Iono when I attach pass. No one in their right mind gets a rock sand when I already have two cards in hand and plays it. It makes no sense. Okay. They're not that crazy. All right, fine. And they're just gonna pop off again. This is just, this is hell. This is absolute hell. So we can get a Charizard, but it's 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 very very bad. It's just, ugh, I can Garchomp, I can Garchomp, but that's just it's now that's now a dead play. That's just a bad play to make. Because if I Garchomp now, then they just KO me, right? Well, they need to hit the coin flips for it, don't they? Um, sure, I'll just Garchomp, whatever. Get me out of this hell. <laughs> At least the reversals aren't online. That's kind of the only thing I'm happy with, to be honest with you. And I'll just go for a Hydro Lander, and I guess I could accelerate to the Drill Bar. I'm going to do Drill but not Coridon because after this hit, I want to effectively... Oh my god, the thing is though, if they if they get so much as a... As a, as a, a, a vita not Vitality Band. Is it Vitality Band? No, it's not Vitality Band. It's a Rigid Band. If they just so much get a Rigid Band, my Charizard... Oh no, my Charizard does because of weakness. But fine. Oh, there's the Hero's Cape, 350. A lot of commitment, but I might actually... Okay, I'm getting a little bit of hope here. A little bit of hopium. In fact, I think I've done this... No, I've done this right. I just need to get the Char I guarantee you I've priced Charizard. What's the... What, what, how much do you don't want to bet? Oh, we've been Roxanne. Okay, lovely. Free card hand and Donnie goes, let's Rox hand him. Wow. Can you tell I'm annoyed? I'm very annoyed. <laughs> There's done sparse. I just need to take this Donnie out and I just lost my fire. <laughs> I'm in pain. Oh, this is done sparse again. I need to draw again. Ultra ball. Getting a pine. Getting rid of a pine cone of fortress. Getting another fortress. They're just thinning now. Please, just an Arvin. Just an Arvin. Just get me an Arvin. An Arvin. An Arvin. An Arvin would be fine. Ar uh, in fact, an Arena would be fine. Just, just give me an out to an energy, all right? If I just get if I just get a vessel, then we cook, right? We win if we get a vessel, in fact. You know what I mean? Donnie ain't benching anything. Okay, that's a light. They've got artisan. <laughs> but if we hit Zard, we win. I'm pretty sure of that. My punishers are the best like ever. That said, they, they they can't hit full heads. If they hit full heads, it's also... Yeah. Oh, do you know what? Finally, it's about time. It's about time they whiff it. Right then. Let's see. It's a hydrant. Okay. I can't attack this turn. Actually, I could attack. I could technically survive an attack. I could technically survive a hit here. Right? So, uh, do you know what's crazy? I can't even charge up to the Zara because I've got the energy for it. Just Hydrolander. We're just hoping on the coin flips, boys. That's what we're doing, I guess. Can I take that back? I can't take it back. Okay. So, two flips of heads will do it for that. That's just so tragic. The artisan for another done sparse. Go for another done sparse. Go for run away. I don't know what they'd be looking for now, to be honest with you. If they, if they boss, they actually decrease the odds of them doing anything. Oh, that said, if they boss and they whiff it, then I need an energy to retreat. See, I should have put two energy. Okay, so th there's six energy in, in there in, for them to flip with. Like, there's just no way they don't get two of them. Nope, they get another Bramblin down, so it's not over. And there's the powerful needles. Do they go it? Come on, please. Something. One and two. There you go. Beaten by my draw. That was disgusting. So I think we're playing control and a... <laughs> to be fair... A Radiant Charizard isn't a bad card to be opening up with, is it? I just attach until I can take some KOs, you know? So I think that's the road we're taking. And uh, let's see how this deck fares against Stall now. In theory, it should be all right. 
I mean, it really shouldn't be that bad. So long as they don't get a Bidoof out in some way. But then I have Vessel for that. Obviously, we'll have Mantine and stuff, but I'm hoping I can just attach to I can get Combustion Blast available. And that's going to be my effective strategy for now, considering that's all I can do. So there is that Snorlax. The bloody Snorlax. The card I cannot wait to rotate. I've never been... I, I, it's nowhere near rotating, obviously. It's got another year left, I think. But my God, I, I thought I was excited for Mew to go. Nah, this is a whole different breed. Not me about top deck. Okay, cool. Just attach. Just attach. And pass. And this is what I was saying in my tweet for those who might have been wondering where... If so if you follow me on Twitter, I've been absolutely slandering Stall. And look, I, I want to clarify here while I let my opponent play and why I pass every five minutes is that I, I, I it's not that I think Stall is bad for the game. It's not that I, I, I more power to you if you play Stall. I know I meme about not liking it all the time and that's fine. I'm just memeing about. But the, the, the problem I have with Stall is I just don't like playing against it. I don't like how it works. I don't like any of that. Also, this hand is very bad. <laughs> what? This hand is terrible. Literally everything under the sun is now available for an Erica. Great. All right, end turn. It seems like the theme of today is Iono just destroying my life. I, I, I cannot understand the Erica, and that's that's just bad. That is so, so, so bad. I don't understand why Iono is doing this to me today. I'm sitting there going, oh, we've got a good card trump deck. It's good fun. And then we get, I'm getting every base. You've got to be kidding me. Every basic in my deck is appearing. It's, it's, it's hell. I do not like it. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> I can't do this, bro. I can't. This, this is what I'm saying. This is what I don't like playing against stalls. So the reason I don't like playing against stall is because I'm just passing half the time. And I, I don't find that fun, you know? I don't find it enjoyable. There's, there's nothing about this experience that is enthralling to me. There's literally zero. I would rather not play the game, right? In, I could obviously joke around and say I'd rather watch paint dry. No, in all seriousness, I'd rather just not play the game than play Stall. I just don't like the uh, the way it's played. And I know, I understand the idea of it, right? The reason it's good for the game is it creates a whole new dynamic, a whole new way to think about the game when playing it. You're no longer playing your deck to win for a prize trade. You're actually playing your deck to counter them. And it's effectively a puzzle versus a puzzle. I get that, but I don't like that. that that's it. It's an opinion, right? And that, that's kind of where I stand with it. So I don't like stall because of that reason. Then I'm going to look at my hand very and just see all my basics and be like, oh my God, get Erica now. <laughs> um, well, I don't need to do that, obviously, but uh, I'm just sitting here waiting for my, my my opportune moment, I guess you could say, to come. But this is not fun. I don't like this, I, I, especially like online, like in a tournament. Fine. I'll be up, I'll be more up for it. If I'm going to limit this tournament and I'm going about, you know, playing, trying to uh, work my way around a Snorlax, then it's fine. Because obviously I'm going to go into that tournament fully prepared to face the Snorlax too. And that's why Snorlax isn't unbeatable and it's not the best deck in format. It's because if you look at the places where it actually matters in tournaments, people try a lot harder to play around it. Whereas on the ladder, people don't really care that much. They ain't going to commit 40 minutes of their day to try and deal with a Snorlax. They're going to scoop, lose 20 rank points, lose 15 rank points and go to the next one, which makes Snorlax more popular on the ladder because you get up quicker. And that's why you see a lot more Snorlax in the upper level. And I know the, I've been told many a times as well, that's the nature of a ranked ladder. I get that. I just don't like it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, that, it's, as, it's honestly as simple as that. I just don't like it. Literally that. Okay, thankfully, no problems there. If I just get a switch out or just a way to retreat here, we can start just going for combustion, combustion blasts and hoping for the best. And this is what I mean. Now I just got to pass to wait for that one play. And I just don't wait. And they, oh, they're going to misfortune as well. If they hit a switch, it's a wrap, bro. They did get a lot of cards. They have no switch, thankfully. No switch at all. I also don't play Churro. So that's something that's a problem, of course. Just another basic. All right, I'm going to get rid of you and get rid of <laughs> get rid of Nest Balls. Yeah, just uh, what do I do here? Yeah, just get myself a Garchomp, right? Yeah, I think I just do that and end my turn. Now, I could probably just get a Garchomp down. And that way I always have energy and play effect. But yeah, when I get a boss, they're not going to boss up my Radiant Trials up. We know that. Also, if they bench something else like a Rotom, then a boss is going to be quite good here. But they don't really need to do that. No, they can just keep passing and just try Misfortune Sisters until I don't have any switch outs left. And that way I just lose. Um, <laughs> hello, speaking of the devil, let's just let's just go in there. But we know what's coming next. A counter catcher for sure. And annoyingly, the Red Charizard, Charizard has to wait a turn as well, which does 
suck. So just opening the Radzard was also quite tough. Oh, yeah, no, I'll take that. There's a boss. There you go. Now I need to see if I actually have switch outs or any sort of out available here. If I don't, I just lose. So let's see. We've got one more switch card left. <laughs> that's it. We lose. We don't win, we don't win this game. I can already tell. And I'm, I, I can't be bothered. Well, that's a downer, isn't it? But I'll tell you what, I just don't want to play any more Pokemon cards. I just don't, <laughs> I don't want to do it. And I'm not going to force myself and bring myself to play another game when I don't want to do it. That's just those two games against the Bramble Gast and the Sonic just drained my soul. Like that was not only did I get the worst outcome in that Bramble Gast game, I match up against the Snorlax and I just get caught out red handed. Like it's, it's, it's just not fun. The, the deck is great. The deck's a really good time, but Jesus Christ, when there's that level of disruption going on, I don't know, man. I, I, I do feel a bit, I don't know. It's just a bit annoying. It's a bit frustrating and uh, it is what it is. I guess I just have to deal with it, but uh, there's going to be times like this now, unfortunately, where I just, <laughs> I can't show the decks in the way that I would like because of these outcomes. And yeah, that's just that. But yeah, we'll leave it there. We'll go to the next one where hopefully we don't just get bodied by Iono. <laughs> Jesus, I, I now have a very important, very, very big disdain and distaste for the Iono now because I, I'm sorry, that's going to scar me for life, this video. But either way, I, as I said, I'm honest with you lot. I'm not going to sit here and just act like the deck's doing well. I play three games out uh, literally in a row and I give you what's there and that's exactly what's happened today. So yeah, here's what it is. And a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel. If you want to become a member yourself, click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like. But we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for the support, guys. See you later.